Blake Nicely, a perennial number one on the Big Lenny Live. Penny Lurson, Timothy Neubauer, Butters, Kaizen Productions, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch, Edmund Trebus, Rob Lynn Bailey, Nixon Perez, Trembaloni Sandwich. That's right, the armpit hair is for play. Hello. What's good? What couldn't be good? The greatest day of the year, the greatest day of the millennium, Columbus Day. The founding of Western civilization on this continent. Hello, Sean. Part of the greatest continent on earth, Ecuador. And some states eliminated Columbus Day. Cookie cutters. They don't like it when people don't believe the they's of the world or the establishment or the negativity, just like the maniacs. There is no negativity when you're going on a rickety boat in stormy waters risking your life while the naysayers are sitting at home smoking, drinking alcohol, and refusing to live above their horizons. They is what cookie cutters refer to as the authority, the establishment the invisible authority, particularly the authority of the atheists who recognize man-made authority versus the spiritual authority, which we were all reckoned with. Thoughts on Brad's live? I will get to that on a future live. Very, very disturbing things from Brad's mouth and very disappointing thing in particular that I hope he makes a retraction on. Hello, how was Canadian Thanksgiving? Always pro-life. Always. There's no other alternative. What do you do if you get the flu? Make sure you're sleeping, eating, and drinking the water. Get out in the sun like I'm doing. It's a very, very warm 10, 10, 22. Too bad this is in the year 2010. Today would have been 10, 10, 10 versus a 10, 10, 10. Thank you, Kirk Tongue. Yes. Headed out to do some Columbus Day dinner shopping. And what a great byproduct. Five o'clock sun. But like the Eastern time zone, you get about two hours of sunlight, but incredible. And very humid today. It depends. Maybe if they have a cheaper cut of steak or a, or a bottom round roast, or maybe some ground beef with some pasta and sauce, which is a traditional Italian menu. Well, that's a shame. If you ever worry about being robbed, things have got to change. Always be aware of your surroundings people watching you, stalking you. Heaven help those that do that. And for those people, you should never allow that to happen. They're not going to do it if you don't let them. However, if you're outnumbered, that's a different story. And sad to say many cities are getting outnumbered. I've been doing intermittent fasting the past week.
Definitely a way to cleanse the system out. I'll decline an a, a invitation to a Halloween party. Unless there's a lot of tans there. But right, Seaburger. Jesus was the ultimate on cookie cutter. Living a sinless life and paying for our sins. There are stuffings of Athens. That's right. How do you detox after black mold poisoning? The same way you detox of anything else. Eating, sleeping, sun, fresh air, sweating. Yes, the eternal love for the maniacs. And Brad and Jay. Now, Scatman, I'll get into Brad's comments on the Powerhouse Gym when I analyze his live in the appropriate way. Hello, Bean Smasher. Johnny B. Nobody can get anybody banned from anywhere. And if anybody allows that, shame on them. They don't deserve to do anything in life. Sorry to hear that, Rob. D8870. What, are they gonna outlaw kids playing outside? It's pretty sad. Right, easier for a camel to go to the eye of a needle than a rich man out of the kingdom of God. Imagine that, to refer someone to get an abortion. Imagine that, you get a gift card. What a society we live in today. But, remember this, Italians, our ancestors of the Romans, which was a great civilization. Some of the greatest scientists, philosophers, architects, engineers are Italian, as well as most of my training partners through life, starting with Scott Ramey in Oakmont, going to Mike T, Meow Man Andrew Calora, Mark, Sinto Mark, Capolini, my employer, Big Lou, all very great training partners, very quality people, good people. And going to school, mostly Italian girls. I, I loved every second of it. Grade school, junior high, so. Thank God for them. Pretty good families. And a big part of the American country as we know it. Paul Smith, so never take that away. It can't be taken away. Yes, the clean Icelandic waters. Doing great, sir. Jeffrey Dahmer was influenced by pornography in the worst way. Mark, 10 minutes is a little excessive. It's not going to make the workout useless, but you want to keep the blood in that muscle. Yes, there could be gators in there, probably small ones, because they have a, like a drainage system. 
that's how they get in there. And they really can't be picked up unless they get to a certain size. Ask any questions. Remember, I'm a misfit and you're a maniac. There's no such thing as weird. Weird is a good thing. Is it true I got arrested for stalking a woman? No. What does that mean anyway, stalking? If I'm giving off weird energy and we are maniacs, that's a good thing. That's right, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. Postman's Paradise. Union job. And that's actually weakening his soul. It is called courtship. Do you think men back in the day took no for an answer from a girl? And that's what girls do. They like to lead a man on and turn him down because they know whether they know it or not, he's going to come after them stronger, stronger than ever. So... Brad and everybody else definitely needs to accept Christ that didn't accept him. If you have the clap, go to the local health clinic. Don't spend, don't go to the ER. Get it done cheaply. Yes, I saw Brad's live today and some of the things are really disappointing. They chase you in different ways, Rob, 88 girls. They chase you in different ways. If they're around, you can't see them. They're so well camouflaged. What do you think about that, Brad? Anything like that on Bradford Manor? I don't think so. Kaizen, if you are a doctor, you could make fun of him. Here's, it's a perfect thing to do. Yes, I know Tim Anderson. Good guy. Been around bodybuilding a long time. I kind of think Brad was exaggerating some of that stuff. And in a way, for him bringing it up is certainly not going to improve the situation, strangely. Yes, I could have body slammed Andre in my early 30s. Of course, he does most of the work. It's really just a stunt. He's jumping and rolling, and you're just guiding him along. Well, I might have to take you on the, to the grocery store, get on the bike. Johnny B says, thoughts on Jay saying I'm in the beginning stages of mental illness. What are the beginning, middle, and end? Very, very cookie cutter thing to say. I guess some of what I said about him hurt him so bad. He's just a childish way for him to lash out. But when, uh, you know, as a maniac, when you're f thinking freely, 
you don't fear death. You believe in the afterlife. You believe in everlasting life. To me, that's a good mental outlook. And you know the things you, your body needs to become healthy and at the top of its performance. And you're not engaging in too many high-risk activities that would jeopardize that. You uh, are definitely have your head on straight. Because quite frankly, the worst back basket cases in life are the worriers. Worrying about losing this, worrying about a hurricane coming, worrying about not having enough insurance, worried about getting sued, things like that, getting attacked. That's mental illness. Because like I said, we're all sinners. We're all gonna pass from this earth. We're here a very short time. And what are the things that you have passion in? And quite frankly, we're here to reproduce. I'm working on that, haven't done that yet. And you're here to motivate others, inspire others and educate the youth of America, whether they wanna hear it or not. Kaizen, yeah, you could look at it like that, like who cares? And you're talking about a lot of things, superficial things you can't control. Who cares? I agree. You know, I can get on this bike and I can get nailed and I can happen on the live. Who cares? It's like the people that tornado came and ripped through Delray. Who cares? You're going to worry about it? And especially those people that are alive crying on the news they lost everything. No, you didn't. You still have your body. Your body's intact. There's people walking around with two, no legs, no arms. They're not ready to kill themselves. Ryan K says, why does Jay's phone go straight to voicemail all the time? Interesting. Yes, being proper, having proper nutrition is gonna give you the positive attitude. It's gonna stave off mental illness. Mental illness to me is worrying about what the average cookie cutter's wearing or driving or the pop culture or how they're perceived in real life or the internet, what people say about them, that's mental illness. And obviously not worrying about where your eternal soul will end up, that is extreme mental illness. And I can get into Brad's live now, but I won't. But some of the statements he made are absolutely psychotic, devoid of any wisdom. And brings a lot of concern about him on my, for me, for him. So you always choose suffering over gratification I don't understand what you mean by that. Gratification is getting a good night's sleep, making sure you're able to do that, getting in a good meal, being able to train, getting out in the sun, getting fresh air, talking to a girl, something like that. Yes, Kaizen, you said it all. Kids given that high sugar breakfast, forced to attend a propaganda session. The parents wonder why they can't focus. That's been going on for years. I remember the Kellogg's commercials and the cartoons, part of a well-balanced breakfast. You had a glass of orange juice, a sugary cereal and milk, skim milk, and a piece of white toast 
with margarine on a plate. What the hell is that going to do for a kid? Where's the eggs? Where's the whole milk? Where's the oats? Yeah, we can call it bratification. Might as well say Brad is a drone. It's always his beer and his dope. If he, can he ever go off that just for a month? One month, Brad. That's right, Kamala Joe. The overlook things in life. It's not the mattress. I know people can sleep on cement, get better night's sleep than others. How much meat is too much for one day? Well, start off your portions at eight ounce, go from there. See if you can handle a pound per meal, I doubt it. You can do that for, have meat at least twice a day and try three if you can. Yes, OG Ghost from the Kellogg brothers. <laughs> uh, that heat will take, clear your, clear your lungs out. Every aspect of Brad's life is controlled by women. Unfortunately, yes. And a lot of times people with those cushy union jobs or pensions, that's all they need is that check. That check is their God. That check gives them the things they need on earth. And they don't, they don't want to think about God. They, they don't want to think about death. I've spoken to Brad. He's afraid to talk about death. I didn't say I want to die. I said, oh, well, if you die, you know, you get to meet your creator. What's being paradise? Jesus said that, not me. Yes, the media says the high fructose corn syrup and dyes are healthy. Brad said the misfits are dead. What would you expect from Brad? If you're not drinking beer or smoking dope, what's the point? Right, Kellogg was a eugenicist and a communist. Little Bunny says, behold a man turning aside from things forbidden that bring abysmal crime to self. Look upon him with eyes or love, for he is a preserver in God. Glad you can stomach those eggshells. Yes, OG goes, cookie cutters don't want to think about that. How do we escape the rat race? Stop being a rat. Start thinking for yourself. I'm not blasting human pension. I'm blasting the fact that a lot of people get that pension. That's their God. Sad to see them if they ever lost that pension. Then where would they be? Did he ever think about that? Where would he be then? If you want to see some agony, misery, gnashing of the teeth, protesting, complaining, suicides, drinking binges and drunk binges. Look at somebody that had a pension or 401k and lost it all. Because they put their entire faith under that.
Yes, Mark. I will definitely reunite. Scatman LA Fitness in Delray is a little far away from Powerhouse. Thou shalt inhale cannabis. How about this? Everybody go on Brad's DM and challenge him not to smoke weed or drink alcohol for a few months. Let's see if he could do that. Right, Jake Sellers. Good luck to him. All right, I'm going to head up to the Publix right now on the bike. Appreciate you joining me on this burning hot Columbus day. Searing hot right now. But I'll remain live, so you're welcome to join me as I will definitely film inside the store. Thank you, June of the House. So you feel free to join me. have a bad habit of grabbing the mute button somehow when I'm riding. But I'll do these where I stop occasionally, regroup.
cardio. Always keep your mouth closed. Breathe through your nose. The sun coming from the west in Florida can be just as hot, if not hotter than midday sun. Don't know why that is, but it's been proven to be true. A five month lease? What part of Florida? That's right, Aristophanes, it's about 340 right now. 340 for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you the seat when I dismount at Publix. Now I'll give you a straight on view. Gotta get that good sale on that beef. We got the mobile groomers here today. Wonder if there's some cute dogs in there.
Grab of the Freudian slip on his live saying, what's Lenny going to do at my house? It's too hot to lift. All he's going to do is make fun of my things in my house. Boy, that's a Freudian slip, Brad. Here's a picture of that bike seat. Still works. That's the bottom line. Thank you, Colin. For salmon, a little too pricey. Even canned salmon. Isn't it great? Yeah, Brad had a few greats in that live. I should have done a commentary on his live, but that's coming soon. This is a 3X. Delray Misfits gear shirt back up and running. Mental illness is someone, is something cookie cutters and people that are threatened. 
want to call someone that they fear and thinks for themselves. Pure Freudian psycho, psychobabble. But in Jay's case, you know, being with his upbringing, whenever things get tough for him, he runs, runs away. Just like there's a saying, there's only three things you could do to a given stimulus in life. You adapt, migrate, or die. Jay has chosen to migrate his entire life from any stimulus that presents a problem to him in any way, shape, or form. But you're going to have to overcome that. Hello, Joe from Thailand. That's true, guys, OG. If you're eating correctly, the last thing you ever want to do is drink a beer. And besides, what's better than a nice cold water? Absolutely nothing. Brad's a big lottery player. He's also a gambler. When Jay does his live from Publix, he uses that card as a shield. Oh no, somebody's getting close. I better get out of here. Migrate, Jay. The migrating chicken. No adaptation at all. None whatsoever. talent yet. Let's see what we got on this beef. Not bad. 
bad. We'll take some ground chuck here. Four ninety nine a pound. Yep, we got some meat coming. Next couple days. Huh. Eight ninety nine a pound. New York strip, not bad. I round. Eye round's a little tough. It is? What do you could do with it to make it soft? Make sure it's rare because it's like a hard to chew. Oh, then they're not gonna eat that. No, I wouldn't. Right? No. They'll eat this and know that. This is good for New York Strip. $8.99 is very good. Whoa. What do you think about that, Brad? Hi, Cream and Genie. Nah, Dan, I figure I gotta usually make a bathroom stop after the workouts here anyway, so. Might as well shop for a day or two, you know? What do you think about that? So we got the eggs, the milk, the ground beef. We got the steaks. Let's get some. Potatoes. Whoa, what do you think about that? Well, car check. Car check. Banana is always a standby, always. And they have the nerve to sell organic bananas. She can do some squats and use my face as a, a squat block. Good old basic baked potatoes. Make them any way you want. Basic, non-processed.
Got some rice at home, some noodles. Got some Ezekiel bread. So, what else do you really need? Always simple basics around the eggs and the beef. Throw in some potatoes and rice. What else do you need? Increase your meal frequency and portion sizes accordingly. That's all. Cookie cutter aisle. Brad is an admitted sweet eater and a big restaurant tour goer. How many times it says restaurant staff spit a fat bloody loogie into Brad's steak? He doesn't know. But that's okay with him. He'll spend the 75 just like those filthy bar pitchers and glasses. They don't even wash half the time. He goes and puts his lips on it, sucking down that booze like there's no tomorrow. Check out the basics of the basics. No organics. Ground shuck. New York strip at eight something a pound. Can't beat that once in a while. Your basic eggs. Plain yogurt. Can't beat it. Good, are you? Gotta hook him on the bike. Not like Jay putting those stakes in the back of that Mercedes. Kill two or three birds with one stone has always been my motto. You know what break, unfortunately. It's that time of day.
Congratulations, Michael. South Louisiana. May you have a long career on the internet. I wish that blonde was in here, OG Ghost. <laughs> Let's hear it. You must be deaf. The famous Pat Man. Just think, the blonde's probably doing the same thing in the other bathroom. Not ready to wipe yet, there may be more. There might be more. Well, Lot Lizard, another reason is I had the groceries on the bike, so the bags have to fit around the handlebars. That's not a bad idea for a Halloween costume to see the blonde in there. Some days I do, some days I don't on the skid marks. Sausage is too processed, which means I'm just better off buying some ground meat or some beef. That is true, I could just, I could say I'm a woman. OG Ghost, I will definitely take a rain check on that. Do you want to be famous? That's a great line. Charlie Conway, you better get some deep REM sleep sometime. Am I financially secure? Well, I'm able to buy food for the day, sleep for the day. Go to the gym tomorrow, get on a bus, so I guess I am. And I thank God for that. 
And you got to thank the maniacs as well. That's all. Maniacs, I'm going to head on home. Thanks for joining me. And remember, without Columbus, without the Italians, where would we be? So on this 10, 10, 22, let's thank them for that. And we'll see you tomorrow for an analysis of Brad's bizarre, disgusting video. Good night.